Hello and welcome to the Divi Nitro overview video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through a high level look at Divi Nitro and its features. Since we won't be getting into the nitty gritty, please check out our documentation site for specific details or contact our amazing support team for more complex issues. Let's get to it. To download any of your Divi Engine plugins, all you need to do is log into your account at DiviEngine.com and click the My Downloads link in the left hand side of your screen. This will take you to the Downloads page where you can download any of the Divi Engine products that you've purchased. Just click the button in the download column for the plugin you'd like to download. Now be sure to download this in a spot that's easy for you to find for the next step where we go to upload and install the plugin. To install the plugin, all you need to do is log into the dashboard for your Divi website and head over to the plugin section, then click on the add new link. We're going to upload a plugin, so click the upload plugin button, then navigate to the folder where you downloaded the plugin zip file. Select the file, then smash that install now button. Once it has been uploaded and installed, just make sure to activate it by clicking the activate button. Look at that, all done. At Divi Engine, we strive to provide our customers not only with quality Divi WordPress plugins, but also amazing support. As part of this effort, we have created a growing collection of support videos and written documentation that cover our products in great detail. To access these, make your way over to help.diviengine.com, where you will see various support topics that will help you resolve the most common questions. If you are still stuck with an unanswered question, definitely submit a support ticket and someone on our team will reach out to help you out. After downloading your copy of Divi Nitro and installing it, you will see that Divi Nitro is divided up into three main sections, Divi Engine Welcome page, Nitro Minify page, and the Nitro Settings page. We added the Divi Engine Welcome page to first and foremost thank you for purchasing our plugin and to give you a resource where you'll find links to get in touch with the Divi Engine team. There are links to our documentation pages, contact forms, and our ticket submission page. Please don't hesitate to utilize any of these. Next up, we'll head over to the Nitro settings page where you can switch on the Divi Nitro features which will work day and night to supercharge the speed of your Divi website. On this page, you will see 8 tabs that separates the various features of Divi Nitro. To get rid of that red license notice right above them, we'll start at the license tab and work our way through the rest of the tabs from there. To get started, click on the Divi Nitro License tab and paste your license key in the text box. If you don't have the key handy, head over to your Divi Engine account page, then My Orders, and you'll see Manage Licenses. Once you've entered your license key, remember to hit the Save button. With our license key saved, we can head over to the Import Export Settings tab. This feature is awesome because it gives you the ability to share Divi Nitro settings between different Divi websites. If you have any pre-saved settings that you would like to import, you can do that here. If not, you can come back to this tab once you have Divi Nitro fully configured and export your settings to move it over to another Divi website if you so desire. Remember, save your work when you're done. After visiting the Import Export Settings tab, click on the Other Speed Options tab. Here you will be able to enable a bunch of extra tweaks to speed up your site. To clarify, enabled means that the feature has been turned on and disabled means that the feature has been turned off. For more information on what each of these tweaks do, please explore the Divi Nitro documentation page. Don't forget to save before moving on. After enabling your desired speed tweaks on the other speed options tab, click on the defer video module tab. This tab supports the awesome Defer Video module made available by the Divi Nitro plugin. If you've used this module, you'll be able to customize it further by allowing for things like autoplay, mute on autoplay, and so on. Remember to save your work. After customizing your deferred video, click on the Asynchronous CSS tab. Loading CSS asynchronously basically means that the most important CSS will be loading to the browser window first, while the other CSS loads in the background. Please note that loading CSS this way can cause issues. If you encounter any, either disable this feature or exclude the problematic script by adding it to the Exclude Custom CSS queue. Remember to save your work. After Asynchronous CSS, click on the HT Access tab. 
Here you will find four switches that control how your web server responds to browser requests. Features like utilizing browser cache and gzip compression can greatly improve the speed of your Divi website. You can switch any of these on or off by clicking Enable to turn on and Disable to turn off. Don't forget to save your work before moving on. After HD access, click on the Defer Background Images tab where you can defer your background images. This feature gets a little complicated, so be sure to check out both the video and written documentation for this feature. In short, deferring background images for sections is as easy as enabling the defer section images switch. The heavy lifting comes in when deferring images added to modules and rows, which have to be deferred individually because of the way that Divi works. Remember to save. After deferring your Divi website's background images, click on the Defer Images tab to defer all other images such as the images added to your image and gallery modules. Remember to save before moving on. Okay, so on to the Nitro Minify page. The Nitro Minify section of Divi Nitro is super easy to use as long as no issues come up when minifying and combining the code. Unfortunately, it is a well-known fact that minifying and combining computer code, which is common practice today, carries with it the potential for negative side effects. It's for this reason that we've built out some awesome troubleshooting tools for you to use in case anything does come up. This will allow you to minify and combine your code without breaking a website, which is pretty awesome. All that said, we're here to help you out. So if you don't find your answer in our detailed documentation, please submit a support ticket. When you click on the Nitro Minify link, you'll see all the settings there on one page. At the top is a radio button called Enable Helper. Check this box and hit save. After doing this, you will need to clear your cache by clicking the clear cache button. I recommend that you also clear your browser cache as well as disable Divi static CSS file generation. To do this, go to Divi, Theme Options, Boulder, Advanced, and toggle the switch. Don't forget to smash the Save button when you're done. With the cache cleared and the static CSS turned off, we'll head to the front end of our Divi website, click the Nitro Minify button at the top right-hand side, and follow the instructions in the documentation. This involves copying the JavaScript file names and pasting them into a queue on the Nitro Minify page. The same applies to your website's CSS. Don't forget to hit save when you're done. As I've mentioned, minifying and combining your JavaScript and CSS code may break your Divi website. So if it does happen after saving, you will need to troubleshoot by finding out which CSS or JavaScript code is the offending party and remove them from the minification queue. Please refer to our documentation on how to do this or send us a ticket so that we can help you resolve the issue. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed getting to know Divi Nitro a little bit better in this overview video. If any questions do come up, please don't hesitate to get in touch with the team and be sure to refer to the documentation. Bye for now.